Now, if you go on Dr. Google, and maybe do a search for signs of breast cancer, you see the usual signs for to look out for, such as changing the size, shape and skin of your breast, any new lumps or swelling in the breast or armpit, any changes to the skin of the nipples, such as any discharge or bleeding, and breast pain. Please, by all means, be aware of the possible signs. However, let me tell you that a lot of these symptoms we do not see in everyday practice, because this is a textbook definition of what to look out for. In most cases, you might not even have a lump when it comes to breast cancer, or you might not be able to feel a lump because the lump is quite discreet, quite small. You might not have breast pain or any of these symptoms. And this is why we stress the importance of self-examining your breast. Now I can go into the different types of breast lumps, such as fibroadenoma or breast cysts. But what you really need to know is that you just need to be familiar with your breasts and know what you need to do if you find a lump. Because this diagnosis are only done after you've had tests such as scans, for instance, or a biopsy. For example, I could tell you that, yeah, fibroadenoma, you know, your lump will be like a mouse moving around the breast, it's smooth, tender. However, you're not going to feel your breast lump and thinking, oh yeah, that's a fibroadenoma because it moves around, it's smooth and tender. That's not how it works. I mean, only a brave doctor would look at a breast lump without a scan and say, yes, that's definitely a fibroadenoma. You don't have to worry about it. But that makes sense if you've had a previous breast lump that's already been diagnosed as a fibroadenoma and you're worried about any possible changes in that same lump. However, if the lump is getting bigger or painful, I would usually refer you to the breast clinic anyway because who's to know what can happen with a fibroadenoma? Could it become cancerous in the future? Possibly. And also, what if you had another lump beside your pre-existed lump that's benign, which is a new lump, you would need to be referred to the breast clinic anyway for further assessment. So this is where breast lumps can get tricky. Now, of course, there are exceptions, especially in younger women who are going through the hormonal changes. You might notice that a few days before your periods or during your periods, your breasts become more tender or lumpy, and this usually resolves after your next period. But if the changes are persistent, then of course you need to let the doctor know. This is why I cannot stress enough the importance of self-examining your breasts. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Please drop some comments below. Please share and like this video.